I'm Sarah Whittingham. I am 48 years old. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a physician. I love to compete, I love to race. And two years ago, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. I was sitting on the couch one night with my family and I noticed my arm started to kind of shake. And I looked down at it and I said, huh, that's kind of weird, why is my arm shaking? And so I got up and I kind of walked around and I sat down on the couch again and relaxed and it started shaking again. So, like most of us would do, I got on Google. The page that came up was Parkinson's this, Parkinson's that, and it was one of those moments where I just felt the world stopped. I realized that a lot of the weird things that I had been noticing over the last five years that I had just kind of chalked up to getting older, just weird weirdnesses, were probably all related to Parkinson's, and I didn't put it together until I developed the tremor. I went to the doctor and confirmed that, in fact, I had Parkinson's. It was a shock, you know, because I've always considered myself to be very healthy and active, and this was going to have the potential to destroy all of that. My greatest hope for the future is that we do come to have a cure. It gives me a great amount of hope that, that I will see the finish line, that with, with all that work, that there will be a day that I can not worry that I'm not going to be able to do all the things that I love to do. One of the big barriers that we have in studying it is that these diseases are likely going on for a very long period of time. And they're not diagnosed until you're well into the disease and showing symptoms. And so there's a big area of investigation to try and identify early changes in neurodegenerative diseases. It has been miraculous for me to meet and talk with other people with Parkinson's and, and see that people have been living with this disease 15, 20 plus years and are still doing amazingly well. I'm in better shape now than I was in two years ago and I owe that to the medications that I'm taking and getting fit and you know really put, making that a priority in my life. I've learned to be a lot more patient with myself. I've learned not to get so worked up about the things that I can't control. It's also taught me the importance of gratitude every day. Gratitude is what makes optimism sustainable.